Staying home during this pandemic is creating big changes in our everyday lives. But could this new normal have a lasting impact on the air we breathe or climate change? CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports. Fewer cars on the road, buses too. Tailpipe emissions are down. So is electricity usage. Two big reasons air quality is improving. This picture from NASA shows the average concentration in March over the last five years of nitrogen dioxide, a byproduct of burning fossil fuels. Swipe left and watch levels drop by 30% across the Northeast in March of 2020. There's evidence that these lockdowns from COVID-19 pandemic are reducing the amount of pollution um, in New York City. How significant they are is still uh, an open question. It's still a little unclear. Daniel Westervelt of Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory tells us it really depends on the pollutant you look at. In New York City, carbon dioxide, a primary greenhouse gas known for trapping heat in the atmosphere, down 10 percent. Carbon monoxide down 50 percent. This is significant. Carbon monoxide is a toxic pollutant in vehicle emissions and at high concentrations can affect the transport of oxygen in your blood. PM 2.5 is public enemy number one in terms of health impacts from air pollution. PM 2.5 is microscopic particulate matter spewed from smokestacks, fires, or created by complex chemical reactions in the air. About 100,000 Americans die prematurely each year from breathing it in. In March of 2020, PM 2.5 down 30 percent. Not significant, says Westervelt. Between 2015 and 2020, we have had a steady decline in PM 2.5 over New York City anyway. He believes cleaner air is temporary, but it is possible that lessons learned like more work from home could have minor long-term effects on the air we breathe. Will COVID-19 stay home orders affect climate change? We asked co-director of Rutgers Climate Institute, Anthony Broccoli. I think one of the important take home messages is that the production of greenhouse gases is a byproduct of things that we do, um, heating our homes, transportation, uh, manufacturing. I think it's an opportunity for us to think about uh, what would be involved in solving the problem of climate change. The long-term effects of climate change and air pollution both impact our health. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.